Hello, it's Jacob again with Fancy oh Dress. <laughs> Take it away. It's me again. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but I think it's Pride Month. Something's gay. <laughs> oh, there's Pride on my hat, but it's probably going to be backwards. We just wanted to put together a little Pride video, ask each other some pretty gay questions and stuff like that. Like, Fancy, do you know the colors of the rainbow? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Fancy, what makes you gay? All of this. For starters, what makes you gay? Other than my love of men. Mm -hmm. Because that's the first checkbox. Yeah, for Jacob's birthday this year, I got him sausage. You did? Probably the best birthday <laughs> gift I've ever received. I love sausage. Oh my god. Because you're gay. Well, from your past Pride experiences, what has been your favorite moment and least favorite moment? Hmm. My favorite moment of any Pride I've ever been to is uh, my first LA Pride. You and I went and seen Kesha. Yeah, we did. My least favorite Pride moment was also my first LA Pride. <laughs> we were in the parade together. Yes. And this idiot bitch chose, chose not to wear sunscreen. I was also wearing a completely mesh see-through top. Yep. So I just, I got sun poisoning all over the upper half of my body and couldn't, couldn't leave the house <laughs> for two days. What about you? What was your, what was your favorite and least favorite Pride memories? I'm gonna get like all sappy, but that's where I met my boyfriend. Oh. The same night we saw Kesha. Oh my God. <laughs> so basically the best Pride ever was Los that Angeles 2015. <laughs> yeah. Most memorable was San Francisco Pride, also 2015. Uh, my <laughs> friend took a photo of me and my boyfriend uh, like sitting on the lawn together and then in the background you could see someone getting a beach. <laughs> For all intents and purposes. I think you could say beach on the internet. Uh, you can 100% say beach on the internet. <laughs> Girl, if you if you know what to Google, <laughs> you, you'll find it. What is the best advice you would give someone who is coming out? Or wants to, or recently did? <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> those, are, those are three different people. Uh, if I had advice to give somebody who was planning on coming out, who's thinking about it, who's got like, well, tickles around their pickles for boys and they want to announce it to the world, I would say take your time. Do it in your own way. For most people, unless you're Lance Bass, there's not like one big moment of, I'm gay. You're always coming out to people. There's never just like one instance of telling everybody and then everybody knows. That's like a movie fantasy. And real life is not a movie. Yeah. <laughs> At least yours isn't. I know. It's poorly written. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really know what the plot is. <laughs> Same Z. Same Z. <laughs> I would agree though. If someone wants to come out, I say definitely take your time. You don't want to do it the wrong way. You want to do it when you're ready. We're not rushing you, but we're ready when you are. <laughs> and even if you feel like you have no support, you do. Mm -hmm. If you can't find a new one, it's with us. Yeah, girl. We support you. Or just like Google it. <laughs> Go on the internet. Like someone. Don't Google bees. Someone on the internet <laughs> will talk to you, especially about beaches. What are some things people can do this summer to celebrate Pride? Start off by throwing glitter out of your car on the highway to, uh, because from space it'll look really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's like the number one way to celebrate. But don't eat it. No, unless it's edible glitter, then yes, eat it. That makes sense. Yeah, fuck yeah, have you seen a cake? Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat the edible kind. You ate the wrong kind. 
Do you have a story that you want to tell Jacob? No, it doesn't make your, <laughs> it doesn't make your poop sparkle. It just makes your stomach hurt. <laughs> Kids, it doesn't make your poop sparkle. Adults also, apparently. <laughs> because I know you weren't a child when this happened. This I guarantee like, you, I'm gonna guess, uh, 22. Probably. Like, sophomore year of college. Yeah. <laughs> My messiest year, by far. <laughs> Yeah, there's some really good Spotify playlists. There are. I saw some uh, good about, ones. Uh, about for and by gays. About and for. And by. by. And by. Yeah. And by. And by. <laughs> by and by. Bye bye gays. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye gays. Mm-hmm. Oh, bye bye gays. Yeah. Can you spell bye, it out in the. Bye bye gays. <laughs> bye bye gays. Bye bye gays. <laughs> It's pride, so you gotta respect everybody's sexual orientation, gender, sexuality. You know what? No one is above anybody. Except if you're on top. <laughs> Except if you're physically on top. <laughs> respect your peers. Yes. And respect your peers. Respect and your peer peers. What can you suggest, Jacob, to do for Pride this year? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I do during Pride. Drink. Tequila. Champagne. Burger King. Always carry a Slim Jim in your pocket or purse for when you take a shot that's too strong and the bartender won't give you a chaser fast enough. Why Slim Jim? Is that a gay thing? What other ways can you celebrate Pride this year, Jacob? Wear something that takes you out of your comfort zone. Oh yeah, totally. That's what Pride's all about. Show your ass, cause girl, we love it. Yeah. She loves it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a really, really fun and rewarding and um, safe, safe, sparkly, respectable, um, filling, fulfilling, bye. Safe. Uh, Colorful. Uh, bright, sunny, uh, no rain, extravagant, um, pride. <laughs> Where did that sentence start? <laughs> Basically, do you, have a ball, enjoy yourself, and don't let other people bring you down. Unless you want to be yeah, unless like, that's down. your thing. Unless <laughs> yeah. It's like up to you if you want to be brought down. It's basically what it is. That's the real tea. It's up to you. Ooh. If you want to have a good pride, it's up to you. I like that. So don't let anybody else mess it up for you. Because people will try and mess it up. Yeah. But it's up to you. Happy pride. Happy pride. <laughs> <laughs>